feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign What a piece of shit. Yeah, you, Tyrant Terminator fraud. It's, I'm calling you a piece of shit. Why don't you come do something about it? That's all I got to say. What's up, everybody? This is FAQ The Madness. My name is Craig. I am going to be checking out a video originally from Tyrant Terminator Audits. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I saw the video before I even saw Fraud It Wrangler. Okay, I saw Fraud It Wrangler um, do a video on it. And I was like, ah, it didn't seem like that was the way it went. Uh, and, you know, he's so disrespectful. And I was just like, ah, I'm just gonna look at both of them. And I ended up doing a video. And, and I cannot help, maybe you all might disagree. I saw a distinct resemblance to Gomer Pyle. I don't know if that's gonna be my nickname for Fraud at Wrangler, but hopefully when you see, you'll, you'll kind of agree that I mean, he kind of looks like that guy. I hope y'all enjoy my version of his video because in this one, he's gonna go fraud it at a clinic. And by clinic, I mean professional medical facility where somebody would go to seek medical help what a piece of shit. Yeah, you, Tyrant Terminator fraud. It's, I'm calling you a piece of shit. Why don't you come do something about it? Why don't you come and do something about it? I don't know if uh, <laughs> the Gomer Pyle looking fraud at Wrangler will have anything to do with Tyrant Terminator if they got into a fight. I don't know. Want a meeting in test? So she should be coming out. Okay. She, she said I told her you're here and she said, okay, thank you. So oh, okay. She's aware that you're here. Okay. So we'll wait Hi. for her to Hello. Do you have an appointment today? Huh? Do you have an appointment today? Nah. How can we help you? Uh, I'm just documenting the bill. You guys got any uh, FOIA reco uh, request forms? FOIA request forms? Correct. Let me answer, okay? Okay. FOIA request On their website? On our website, yes. Yeah, you guys can just print a sheet off for me. Go to page Can we ask why you're recording? Well, I'm just documenting. For what though? Are you a current client of ours? Well, I'm no man. You cannot FOIA anything at a medical clinic, you dumbass. Now, Gomer Pyle, I mean, Fraud at Wrangler, starts off by saying you can't FOIA anything at a clinic. Completely con contrary to what it appears, even on the website, says that you can do. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. So as far as the FOIA Act is concerned, the General Assembly declares that it is the public policy of the state of Illinois that access by all persons to public records promote the transparency and accountability, accountability of public bodies at all levels of government. This is a level of government. And that the act is not intended to cause an unwanted invasion of personal privacy. Suicide crisis line, lifeline. And we're going to skip forward. And the reason that we skipped forward is because he was recording shit on their desks because he's a low life piece of trash. Oh, we're not sure why you want you're recording the building. What's your name? My name's Barb. What's your Barb, name? what's your position here? I am the public health operations man of supervisor. For the for this office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Turns out what he was recording was not even personal information. You can clearly see this not personal information. Uh, and he was James. Admonishes yeah. the person to close up the stuff, which is what she had to do. There's nothing on there that's personal. She has like items that uh, a normal person would be able to take and give to the patient, for example. Yeah, 
you know, it's very clean. And all the information that would be private, of it, otherwise private, is away and as it should be. I'm sorry, so you can't be recording, uh, you can't do that. You huh? can't, this is personal, you can't be recording like personal stuff like that. Oh yeah, you just have to do what yeah. you did. Just yeah. You have to close the notebook. You can't be recording, coming in here recording us. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Just like what I said, why not? Yeah, Barb seems to not have a problem with it. I don't. I don't know why she doesn't. She should. Well, maybe she's on. Or maybe she's aware that I can do it. If you go to our website, this is what you can find. Okay. Um, um, there is a link there that I guess you can print it. But okay. If you go to the website, you can click on the link and find more information. Really? So you guys can't print a form off? Bring your own paper, you lazy sack of shit. Yeah, no, I'm talking about a form for me to actually fill it out. This, this, these are just instructions. Um, I don't. There's definitely a reason for everything, Barb. Barb, Barb, it is right. Yes. Yeah. What is your reasoning for recording us? I just like I told you when I, when you first asked, just documenting. For what though? For, for my purpose. But for what reason, though? Just my purpose. You're just randomly coming in our building wanting to, for health department or access? Just this building specifically. And if you guys can't find a form for me to actually like fill out, I'll just take a blank sheet of paper and fill one out. If you guys can't you're, find one, you're requiring your, you're asking for your medical. No, ma'am. Just a no, no. Just a FOIA request form. Just Freedom of Information Act, and it has nothing to do with uh, medical records at all. What's your name, ma'am? Don't want to give your name. No. Well, want, to you want to be unprofessional today? No, not today. It's definitely unprofessional not to give your name. You want to give your name? Mm -hmm. No. I don't know. I don't Too unprofessional. Huh? Public servants being unprofessional today. Wow. Wow. At this facility. I'm sorry. You can't be recording at this facility. What's your name? My name's Deborah May. Deborah May, are you the, like a manager here? Because that. Uh, I'm a behavioral health supervisor. Oh, okay. Here, yes. She told me she was the manager of the office. Well, she is the manager of that part of it. Oh, oh what's the difference? <laughs> There's different services right here. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, absolutely not. I don't need any help today. Appreciate it. They okay. was able to help me. Will, will you please turn off the camera? I'm just documenting, like you, I took. You know what? There are people here who have privacy rights. That's correct. And you cannot record so you need to turn that off uh, well i'm just like i told barb here i'm just mm -hmm. documenting the building came in to get a foyer request form okay. so they was able to provide me with that so okay. now i'm going to document the building before no, i leave you, no. you can, can't do that so you can either turn off the camera or you can you know step outside the building oh respectfully i'm not going to i'm going to document the rest of what i have to do and then i'll leave okay thanks a lot I'm not agreeing to you staying here. You are trespassing at this point in time. I, absolutely not. <laughs> You've been asked to leave. Yeah, I can't be trespassed on public property, man. You're going to call the police? Yeah, they can call them. They're, not... They're going to take you away. Ah, we, it? Well, we hope not. We hope the police don't come well, and violate rights. You're me, no. Oh, well, you engaged me, sir. You asked me, you started talking to me. Don't, 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 I am, bro. Huh? I'm a patient. Okay. Go outside. I'm not going outside. Well, you think you're going to intimidate me or something? I'm not trying to intimidate you. I mean, you got up talking about go outside don't, like you was want to, man. Don't. You're, this, it ain't worth it, man. Me. It ain't worth it, man. Go take care of your business and pay attention to what you was just doing at the window, man. Joe, it's okay. Joe, it's okay. You're taking care of Yeah. Don't worry about it. They can call the police all you guys as one. No, we did. It's okay. Definitely okay. You are on private property. You it's public property, ma'am. No, it's not it's public property. You say it right there. No, it says it. the services are public health center. You see what that say right there? It says public health center. That That's does correct. That mean this building is public. 
it's private property owned. It's private property owned. So is DuPage County a private county? Do you think you're intimidating somebody, man? I'm not intimidating nobody. You're intimidating me now. I'm not. How am I intimidating you? Yeah, you are. How, sir? I don't want to talk to you. Well, don't talk to me then. Yeah, wait till they come. I can't wait till they arrive. Mm -hmm. Jumping up out your seat, all, I didn't jump out of my seat. all Billy Badass. I, I did. I just seen you. Just because I'm a small guy, don't mean shit. Be, we about the same size, sir. <laughs> we about the uh, we about the same size, same 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 size, man. Size doesn't mean anything anyway. I know. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yes. The harder you're gonna fall. Okay. All you gotta do is try your luck, man. Yeah, I will. Okay. I got nothing to lose. Okay. Me neither. <laughs> I'm a patient. You could be. You, you, you know what? You need to exercise the other the other word of patience. You better have patience with yourself, sir. Because this ain't one of them. It ain't worth it, man. Trust me. Please leave him alone. He's messing with me. He jumped up out of his chair. You guys are standing right there blocking him from engaging me. Exactly, but you won't leave him alone. That's called criminal harassment, you piece of trash. Yes, and you are violating his Are you serious right now? By recording him. Absolutely not. He's in public. No, he's not in public. Yeah, this is he's, public he's, property. He's, he's at an agency re to receive services. And I am as, uh, as well. <laughs> you just told me that you didn't need anything, that you got what you came That's for. That's not true. I told you when I came here, I, I was asking for a FOIA request right, for and you already Isn't that services? That. Yes, you received the service. And I'm going to fill it out and turn it in. Okay, well, but you can don't need to stay on the property to do that. Oh, well, I have a right to do it, though. Uh, absolutely, you could fill out that right, form. Right, my form, I'm going to fill out. The only thing I'm asking you to do is to turn off your camera. The only thing I'm asking you to do is to turn off your camera. Well, at this point right now, you guys have called the cops. You, you guys have a patient that's uh, obviously, you know, uh, irate. So we're definitely going to continue to record uh, for reasons that's apparent and i bet as soon as those cops come in you turn into a snitch bitch and you start telling them that that man was mean to you and that he threatened you and that you needed a fucking diaper change in a safe space you're violating everybody's privacy man what kind of man did your mama raise you ought to be ashamed of yourself How you doing today, officers? Yeah. Pretty good. What's your name and badge number, sir? I see you, Officer Han Anderson. Yeah. What's your badge number? 317. 317. And you, sir? 376. 376. Real quick. Uh, came in to grab a FOIA request for him. Um, Freedom of Information Act, you know, fill it out, turn it in. Um, I'm also documenting today, exercising my First Amendment right to just be in public accessible areas. I'm not making any effort to go past any restricted doors or anything like that. No, you walked past the restricted door when you walked in the front door. I tried to convey it to a couple of different personnel here. Uh, they weren't interested in even hearing it. Uh, they wanted me, you know, they're saying they want, want you to leave because I'm recording. I tried to explain to them that I have a right to do so. So they uh, dispatched you guys out here, which is a waste of resources uh, for something that's constitutionally protected. I'm sorry for that inconvenience. All right, what are we going to do? Well, like I just told, like I told them, um, I'm going to fill this out. Uh, I'm going to document and get some more pamphlets and things of that nature to see what's available to the public, and, and I'll book on out. What do you? What kind of records are you trying to get? at? Uh, a couple of different things. Okay. I'll put it. I'll fill it out on Anything here. Anything that pertains to you? It'd be, no you medical records at all. No, no, it's not medical records. It's for you. Right. Yes, it'll be for you, not yeah, medical. Right. Right. If I wanted medical records, I wouldn't fill out a for you. Well, I don't know what you need. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's about it. You know, like I say, man, I apologize on their behalf for even calling you guys out here because it's, it's a waste of time. You know, I'm in the public accessible areas. I haven't done anything nefarious. Don't have any ill intent today. Just want to be able to exercise my rights unmolested and go by my way. You need to see a doctor here or anything? No. Like I said, I just want to file my FOIA, document the building. That's it. All right, well, let's fill out the form. I am. I'm definitely am. All right. Um, we're doing that because we're not going to leave until you know, you're well i'm not going to leave until you guys leave because i'm i mean you guys just can't kick me out of here for i can't kick you out yeah that's what i'm saying i don't need i mean obviously you guys should get back to work well you just well you just fill out the form and 
Take whatever pamphlets you want and whatever pamphlet you ever after. That's exactly what I'm going to do, but I don't need you guys to babysit me in terms of uh, me waiting for me to fill out a FOIA and document sure. the bill. They don't want you to take medical leave. Medical leave. But he's not there seeking medical services, so trespass him already. What's the criminal? What's the criminal act? Trespass. Well, you can't trespass me from a public building, sure. minus a crime. Sure well, if you look at, I was talking about the Illinois compiled statutes, correct? But we, but we can arrest you under our local ordinance. Which doesn't mirror. You know, you know what? Real quick. So you have an ordinance. Mm -hmm. You have an ordinance in terms of trespass Correct. to public property. Correct. What is that ordinance? Correct. You want the exact statute? No, yeah, because I was going to get ready to convey the statute to you, exactly, to be perfect. Well, you're going to convey the state statute, correct? That's correct. Okay. The, our local ordinance. Mm -hmm. The supersedes state statute? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. The process of arresting. Okay. It doesn't mirror what the state is. It doesn't mirror. So I don't. I don't need the same reasonable suspicion to arrest you under state as I do local ordinance. Okay, because seven twenty ILCS five twenty one states yep. that you can't trespass on public property okay. during normal business hours while this public building is open to the public. Okay. So I mean, if you're gonna. Uh, you know, that's the law. I have a right to do this. Like I said, I'm a First Amendment right. If you guys want to wage war on rights today, mm -hmm. then that's okay. Um, if, obviously, these young these young ladies here wanted me to leave. So if you guys ever talk to them, let me just put you on notice real quick, you Officer notice, Peterson. You know right, am, I able, am, I able to, am I able to finish? Well, right quick. So I'm not able to finish. No, no. I'm asking you a question. Okay, but I'm saying you cut me off, though. That's okay. rude. Do you know the statute for disorderly conduct? Can I finish first? Answer my question. I will. Can I finish? Go ahead, finish. Okay, what I was going to say is after you guys have a conversation with them mm -hmm. and you guys continue to try to kick me out, and you're going to be in direct violation of 18 U.S.C. 241 and 242. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're definitely going to be in it because you guys are acting on the color of law. Okay. So if you use threats and intimidation as an instrument to obstruct my rights, you're going to be in violation of the constitutional rights. You're going to have threatened you and I had intimidated you. You came up with trespass and arrest and all that, so that is a threat. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Do you know the statute for disorderly conduct? You tell me. Okay. When you alarm or disturb someone, you've committed disorderly conduct. A person commits disorderly conduct when he or she knowingly does any act in such unreasonable manner as to alarm or disturb another and to provoke a breach of the peace. So, uh, so me recording okay. can be alarming and disturbing someone. Correct. So, the, the um, Supreme Court has already ruled that you can't convert a constitutionally protected activity into a crime. You just can't. I believe it's a stretch for this for this officer to even suggest that he that uh, that uh, Tyra Terminator is being disorderly in some way. I mean, that's just ridiculous. You, you can't. I mean, if you guys are you, unsure, you, Officer Peterson, you have respectfully. Any, do you have any business that you need to conduct? Yeah, as I just told you. Okay, well, let's get it done. Because you're yeah, just but wasting I'm, your own time, their time, our time. No, you, no, I'm not wasting anyone's time. I'm being. I'm the one that's being harassed, sir. You're not being harassed. Yes, I am because now we have armed guards here trying to enforce your will on, on, on a, something that's constitutionally protected. We're something you really swore to uh, uh, everything that's going on here, so we're just asking if you fill that out, leave it, and... That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's precisely what I'm going to do. And we're going to make them feel comfortable by staying here, so if you can fill it out, and we can all leave together. Well, Officer Anderson, respectfully, it's not about making them feel comfortable. It's about you upholding the oath you took, sir. No, it's... Oh, it's, it's no, it's not? Because they're not comfortable. So, so, so them being comfortable is more, uh, it supersedes your oath. I'm just asking. That's the whole problem with people calling the cops, law enforcement, when their feelings are involved or if they're scared of something or, you know, if, if they, you know, if they feel like somebody's doing something, why do you necessarily have to call a cop who, at the end of the day, they most likely will err on the side of you're going to jail. Violate your rights, be damned. <laughs> because you swore to uphold the Constitution. Okay, I'm part of the public and I'm exercising a right. If you just want to be cooperative and fill it out, we'll live happily ever after. That's correct. Do you have an ID? No, I don't, I don't just provide ID minus a crime. What's your name? 
James. Same thing I told you. James? That's correct. Well, I'm not going to give my last name. I don't think that I have to. I haven't done anything illegal. If you, if you guys, maybe you guys are not sure. And I can understand that because we're all human beings. Most people be cooperative, they'll fill it out and get out of here. I mean, I'm the perfect. I mean, you don't want to be cooperative. I bet that you will when they arrest your punk ass. Uh, I, let's see. Right now, you're trespassing. I, so, I'm, so, so I'm being uncooperative by just exercising my right. Come on, uh, Officer Peterson. We, we can move this real quick. Just fill it out. Leave it here. Take whatever pamphlets you want. No, we all go to ever after. You're absolutely correct. But you know what? Also, you can do, Officer Peterson, is if you convey to them young ladies, this young man is doing nothing illegal. He's going to fill out his paperwork and he's going to leave. Why can't you guys just do that? That's simple. You're harassing someone that, harassing well, it's kind of, sort of, sir. You're, you're, you're asking me to do things and you're giving me directives and things, like unlawful directives. Not they are. Okay. You're telling me that I should fill this out right now at this moment. That's what you came here for, to fill it out. That's correct, but I don't need, so fill it out. but I don't need Officer Peterson and Officer, uh, Officer Peterson rather, and Anderson to tell me precisely when to fill it out. Why? Get home with you, fill it out and come back later. That's not what I want to do. I want to fill it out while I'm here and just turn it back in. Simple. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to do it, but I don't need you guys to tell me when to do it. You know what I mean? Of course not. Who's who's going to stay somewhere all day? I mean, if I could, if, I could if I wanted to, but I'm not. Of course not. Like, and then again, I was going to say, if you guys are not sure, maybe you want to call a supervisor here, sergeant, or someone, someone of a higher authority that uh, maybe know and understand my rights as a citizen. Maybe you guys, and you guys are human beings, so you got, you know, obviously you can make a mistake. So we just don't want you to make a crucial one because it's not worth it, man. And then they didn't tell you about the young man that jumped out of his chair as a patient and got all bucked with me like he wanted to fight. And they didn't convey that though, over the phone, did they? <laughs> of course not. Do you guys call a sergeant for me? Or? Oh, is that one right there? Yeah. Great. Beautiful. There's a there's a significant portion of the video that, uh, that uh, file omits. Just like I have to edit this for time, so does fraud it out, or fraud or wrangler. But it's very convenient the portions that he chooses to use and his interjection um, are interesting enough that he tries to make it fit his narrative with regards to this story. But in my humble opinion, they don't line up. Uh, they don't line up at all. And the, the, the downgrading and the, all the other stuff that goes along with it is just unnecessary. And to me, it doesn't add to anything. And if you're going to be one of those people who follows people who don't get it right, this is not the only video that uh, I'm aware of that, that he does this. Uh, in fact, with the same person, uh, Tyrant Terminator, you're, you're not doing anyone a service by getting it wrong. And even when auditors get it wrong on scene or when they get it wrong, when they're discussing things, why can't you have a conversation where the, where, where you actually try to move towards what is the best practices within the community there's nothing wrong with that and why do we have to be enemies on both sides but you know such is life such is drama such as youtube so uh is it sergeant fuent fuentes yeah, I'm what's your name james sir james, james. How's it going? pretty good I, like you just heard your you, officer uh, do you get services here no but is it is, real quick uh, uh sergeant since you just listened to your officer can you listen to me now Sure. Okay, appreciate that, sir. Uh, real quick, like he said, I came in in front of FOIA, and I also came in here to document the building. It's precisely what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm in here exercising my First Amendment right. I conveyed that to these young ladies. However, they wasn't interested, so they dispatched you guys here. I well, no, they called the cops after they told you to leave at least three times and you wouldn't leave. Then you tried to start a fight with somebody there who's actually a patient. No, no, and that's what I told him. No, it's not about medical records. It's just FOIA and... and in terms of uh, this health department, specific oh, okay. information. Have you had a bad experience with the health department? No, not at all. Just Listen to how many times he like asked I said, I'm taking up a questions. story on this health department while filing the FOIA. Awesome. 
Simple. That's like you nine different questions to try to get. I mean, you got a I Twitter got a account. And I, you know, I got You're trying to get your records. He says, yeah. I'm just trying to get a what FOIA kind of request. What are you looking to check with here? Are you just looking to fill out the FOIA? I'm a, that's like I told these officers. I'm going to fill out the FOIA, and I'm going to document the rest of the building and get some pamphlets, and then I'm booking on out. Simple. If you're trying to document stuff and put information out to people, that's you know, correct. We, we respect that. And I appreciate that. Encourage that okay? I appreciate that. Now, here's the thing, though, James. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand. There's people here that are getting medical services. Okay. So you well, got. I, I, I can I can appreciate that. If you're not gonna fill out the form, I so definitely how am. You're gonna get the information you're even looking for. I'm definitely am gonna fill it out. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, telling yeah, Officer yeah. Peterson so, here. I'm going to fill it out. I just don't want to be given directives from an officer on when to fill it out. That's the only thing. That's yeah. my only concern. Is this the form? Yeah, yeah. It looks like a pretty simple form. Have you filled you filled oh, them yeah, out Of before, course, right? several. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to fill it out now so that way we can get that process rolling? You well, can do your quick <laughs> documentation and move on so they can continue their business operations as well because they're they're busy. Told these officers. Do you mind, there's a patient coming, but do you mind just watching the camera, please? Mm -hmm. uh, their respect. You can film me as much as you want, please. Just be respectful of them, please. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna say, with all respect, if they would, they didn't even request that. You're requesting the form. You're stepping out I, your boundaries, I, I Sarge. Why is we still having this conversation? Why am I still being harassed, and for lack of a better term? I don't feel like we've had a, a harassment kind of conversation. Well, James. not think, me and you. Yeah, I think. But these two officers, for sure. But you're still here trying to enforce a will that they created, because these two officers wanted me to fill out a form now, and now you're adopting the same mentality. That's so a very good point. We got called here, right? That's correct. My officers didn't just show up here magically, right? That's correct. So someone called for our assistance. Is that correct? Obviously, the department. Yeah, so the department did. That's correct. Okay. So they're here. They've talked to staff here. And I haven't had the pleasure of meeting the staff yet and talking to them yet. Okay. So I can understand them as okay. well. So I understand their position. From what I did understand from when I talked to my officers. I think the mm -hmm. cops are kind of amazed that uh, Sergeant came. Okay. So okay. That's and one of the positions that they're kind of trying he's to not in. through that is... We don't not in handcuffs. And, Does that make sense, and James? Can we agree on that? Frauded right? Wrangler, well, Gomer Pyle. Well I don't know if you guys are going to agree that he kind of looks like Gomer Pyle. 720, me. ILCS, but 521. You can't piss trespass me from public so property <laughs> during normal business hours when this business is open to the public. That's the state statute. And I'm here to conduct business. It's just not on the officers to tell me precisely when to conduct it. That's it. That's all. What would be the right thing to do is to explain to these young ladies that I have a First Amendment right. Explain to the to ladies. in public. Mm -hmm. That's the oath you guys swore right to, to do right? so. Mm -hmm. I would love for you guys to honor your oath today, sir. Yeah. No, and it looks like they got you that clipboard, the pen. That's Can correct. Can you just speak with uh, management over here, understand what's going on a little bit more? Okay. Hey, let me just talk to them real okay. quick, James. All right. Yeah, so uh, we're going to fill this form out. Definitely going to fill out the form. Wait to see what uh, Sergeant Winter say when he come back out first. Uh, these two officers are still here. Glad a sergeant actually came because these guys look like they was getting ready to make a huge mistake, man. Probably a career-ending one. See what Sergeant Winter say when he come back out. We should be good to go. Officer Sergeant the Sergeant came out from talking in the back. They told his officers he would step outside real quick. And so, uh... And they don't got body cameras. We'll see. Everything all right, Sarge? Good. I'm having a good day. You? Yeah, I'm, I'm not matching. You. you got everything squared away? Fantastic. Okay. Didn't really ask the question, but we'll see. Got everything squared away, Sarge? Yeah. Just one favor. There are some clients that are doing some stuff. Can we just 
face that way so that way we're not capturing that. That's, that's cool. Is that understandable? Yeah, I'm trying to get this young lady to Xerox stamp copy my FOIA. Oh, are you done? Yeah, I filled it out. Oh, all right. Well, well she, she, she told me she'll be right back. I guess she's taking care of somebody else, so that's cool. Don't take my word for it. I gave you what I think is a good enough snippet to hear the types of things that uh, Gomer Pyle was saying against Tyrant Terminator. Now I'm saying Gomer Pyle. I don't know if that's offensive. Good for good for thee, but not good for me. I mean, what I'm saying is one side being First Amendment auditors and the other side being First Amendment auditor trolls. Fair abusing. I mean, fair using content that is created by First Amendment auditors. Fair use was created so that the copyright laws would not infringe upon our First Amendment rights to free speech. So if you were able to take something and make light of it, theoretically, it's, 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 it's game. I'm not trying to make any enemies, and I don't think that I'm going to. Everybody knows that I have respect with regards to this process, however it comes to be for my channel. At the end of the day, if I look at something and you look at something, our opinions of it be damned. We should be able to look at it and come pretty close to how we think things went. And really what I'm saying is, is that from my perspective, looking at the video, the original video that uh, Tyrant Terminator did and the review video that Gomer Pyle did, Fraud at Wrangler, it's as if they were watching two different videos. Entertain your audience, fine. Me personally, I would love to be able to look up and see if these things are true that he says about uh, Tyrant Terminator. I don't know them to be true. And even if they were true, it's not something that you go saying, especially, you know, behind a, a, a camera and a desk, you know, and a computer, you know, why don't you come and do something about it? Well, I would love to see for him to come to you and you actually do something about it. Cause I really don't think that if, if any of the half of the things that you are saying are not true and there comes a day where you actually meet face to face, I would like to be a fly on that wall, but I don't think that, uh, it's gonna, it would be, you know, too good anyway. So the links to these videos will be in the description and in the pinned comments. I implore you to look at them. When you have time, there is a discrepancy on many levels as to what he's, uh, how, you know, how he views what's going on and what actually did go on. He gets upset because, you know, they shook, they sh the, the officer shakes hands. Why can't our officers treat us with respect uh, and extend their hand instead of a gun first? Why can't our officers extend their hand in peace versus a taser or a gun first and that you would want that to be the first thing or be opposed to that that action is troubling to me sorry sorry wrangler sorry uh gomer pile that's my opinion because y'all made this video i love y'all but I hate y'all for, for asking me to do this. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift, oh!